We'll begin by looking at this simple function that does multiplication that we use in the example. And then later we'll see some functions that we can make that have more practical applications. So I've defined this function. I've called it multiplication because that's what it does. I pass in two numbers and then I simply multiply the first number by the second number. The answer of that multiplication is my return value. So when I run this code block, I don't see any Thing, but what I've done is I've made this function, the code in the function definition available in my environment so that now if I call the function multiplication, it will know what to do. So I will call the function and pass in two numbers, three and five. Three times five is 15. So the function has returned the correct answer. Here I'm going to pass in the same two numbers, except I'm passing them in as variables instead of as numbers. If I do that, once again, I get the same answer. The way that we use functions that we defined ourselves is similar to the way we've used built-in functions or functions from a module. The only difference is that the code that defines the function is a part of the co code of our software itself. In the case of Jupyter Notebooks, once you've run the cell that defines the function, you can skip around and go to other cells that use that function, and you don't have to redefine the function inside every cell. So once I've defined this function here, I could skip down to this cell and use the function.